Ooh. Mm. Miners, not miners. Let's do this. Hey everyone, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today's my top 10 picks for new comics coming out October 7, 2020. This is where I show some great covers, some great stories, and suspect books you might want to be on the lookout for. If you're new to our channel, do me a favor, subscribe right now. It does help us out quite a bit. And also turn on the notification button because you don't want to miss the next video. Don't forget to go to Max Pro Supplies for all your comic book supply needs. Enter the code Bueller at checkout and you save 10%. Also want to remind everyone, don't forget to check out this week's Thunderdome at the end of the video. That's a lot of fun. Find out who won. Okay. And also, if you can't tell already, say it with me. I'm all jacked up on coffee yet again. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and take a look at my top 10 picks for new comics coming out October 7th, 2020. Uh, first book up on our list is Amazing Spider-Man number 49 or number 850. Apparently, that's a big deal now, the 850 mark. But this one is brought to you by Nick Spencer. Among others, there are some guest writers as well. In this book, we get the return of Green Goblin, and we get multiple other stories that are in the end of this book, and a bunch of the other cast in the Spider-Verse show up as well. I've already took a look at it. It's okay. It's nothing too special. But like I said, it's supposed to be the 850th issue. And then next week, number 50 comes back, so we're going back 800 issues. Does that make any sense at all? No, it does not. We do have a bunch of really cool covers for them, so let's take a look. We have the regular cover, which is just fine, and then we have the Brooks variant. That's my pick. That one you can pick up at your local comic shop, and then we have a bunch of exclusives. We have the Mike Mayhew with all the flames and Green Goblin and Spider-Man. I like that one a lot, and then we also have the Shannon Mare variant with Spider-Gwen on the cover. I like that one also. I wish I could get that one, but it's going to be a lot more than cover price. Cover price for this book is $9.99. Next book up on our list is Wolverine number six, brought to you by Benjamin Percy. This is part three of the X or 10 of source. Is it X or 10? I don't know. I've heard people say both. I'm sticking with X because that's what I'm looking at on the screen. It looks like a freaking X. So that's what it is. In this one, I guess you get a first appearance of Solomon, not Solomon Grundy. That would be awesome if he did make an appearance in Wolverine, but no, we just get the regular plain old Solomon, but that will have to do. We got a couple really cool covers for this one. We got the regular cover, which I really like, and then we have the Alex Ross Timeless variant. I'm collecting all these, so I'm going to add it to my collection. This one has a regular cover price of $3.99. Next one up is Thor number 8, brought to you by Donny Cates. This is part 2 of the Hammer Fall storyline. There's only two parts of this, so this is the conclusion. If you remember on last issue, we have this dude just pick up the hammer. He's just a truck driver, old dude, and he turned into the new Thor. We'll find out exactly what happened to him in this issue. I've already looked at it. It's kind of interesting. We get some nice little play between Tony Stark and Thor, and they're kind of doing their little back and forth thing. And then, of course, we got the new truck driver Thor. So what are you going to do? Anyway, we got a couple different covers for this. We got the regular cover, which is just fine because Thor's just having a, a lunch or whatever. And then, we, of course, we have the Alex Ross variant, the Timeless variant. I got to get that one. That looks fantastic. This one has a regular cover price of $3.99. Moving on to DC now, we have Deceased Dead Planet number four of seven. This is one of my favorite titles out right now. This is by Tom Taylor. In this one, they got to go off planet to find the cure for the, all the zombie thing or whatever. And hopefully they can save the planet. It's been many years since it's been dead. So you never know what they can do. But they have to leave the planet, like I said find the cure, heist something, steal it from somebody or whatnot, and that's what we're going to get in this book. I'm looking forward to it. There are a bunch of covers, but really the regular cover for this one is just fine. This one has a regular cover price of $3.99. If you're missing this book, you're missing out because it's one of the best. All right, next one on our list is Batman number 100. This is brought to you by James Tinney, not the third, not the fifth, but the fourth. That's the third time I've used that joke. I get one more. And then this is the conclusion to the Joker War storyline. I have absolutely loved this storyline. It's probably been one of the best Batman storylines for quite some time. And in this one, we get the conclusion. We get a battle between Batman and the Joker. I'm pretty sure Batman's going to win, but I don't really know. I haven't seen it yet. If you looked at last issue, the Joker has his very own Batman suit, and it looks freaking awesome. We got some other things in here. We got a first appearance of the Ghost Maker. I believe that's the character, a villain. So we'll have to see from that. And also, there's some other short stories at the end of this as well that kind of jumpstart the next issues after this one and new storylines in 101, 102, and there you go. 
Anyway, we have a few different covers for this one, so let's take a look. We got the regular cover, which is just fine, and then we have a bunch of exclusives, so let's run those down. We have the Shannon Mayer one. I love that one as well. He's got double duty this week. We also have the Slab City Comics exclusive. That one looks really good. And then we have the Matina variant. This is an exclusive this summer. I'm not sure where it's at, but you can probably search it on his website. Funky Cold Matina, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this one looks pretty good, so I'm definitely going to pick it up. This one has a cover price of $6.99. Next book up on our list is American Vampire 1976, number one, brought to you by Scott Snyder. This is a DC Black Label. This is part one of the Don't Look Behind You storyline some good advice but let me tell you the tagline for this so you just get an idea apparently america is broken trust between the government and the people are crumbling and paranoia reigns supreme it's 1976 sound a little familiar to you it does to me it could be 2020 anyway this book looks pretty good and you know what i'm gonna pick it up we got a few different covers but the regular cover is just fine and this one has a regular cover price of three dollars and 99 cents Next book up on our list is They Only Find Them When They're Dead, number two, brought to you by Boom Studios and Al Ewing. They're apparently sticking with the format of having the title take up the whole cover. I kind of think it's pretty cool, so that's why I'm sticking with this book now. There's more to it than that. We got some great story going on. Apparently, they know where the final living god is, and they're on a course to go and harvest their body or whatever before it dies and get a bunch of stuff, so that sounds pretty cool. I really enjoyed the first issue, and I'm looking forward to the second. We got a couple different covers for this one we got the regular cover which is the one with the words on the front pretty easy to identify and then we have the one in ten incentive i'm just sticking with the regular a cover this one has a cover price of three dollars and 99 cents looking forward to this next book we have american ronin number one brought to you by awa and cerulean blue if you get that reference let me know in the comments down below actually it's written by peter milligan i believe but in this one you have corporate operatives trained from very early on in their childhood or birth to kind of defend these corporates that have taken over the world but there's one ronin who's decided to leave this whole thing and take it upon himself to bring them all down and that's what you get in this book we got the regular cover and then we have the Dale Donald Jr. cover as well. That one looks pretty good, but I'm sticking with the regular cover because that's good enough for me. We have a regular cover price of $3.99. Next book on our list is The Walking Dead Deluxe Number 1, brought to you by Robert Kirkman. I have a good feeling about this book. You know what? I think it's going to find a very large fan base. It just needs some time. Apparently, if you're not familiar with this book, it's about a zombie apocalypse, and it introduces a bunch of characters, and in this one, they're in color, because before, it was just black and white. And what's wrong with a little color coming into your world? Absolutely nothing. I'm looking forward to this book, because I never collected Walking Dead when it came out, and now's your chance to start from the very beginning. This one has a regular cover price of $3.99. Very last book up on the list is called Hollywood Trash, number one, brought to you by Steven. I can't pronounce your last name, so I'm not even going to try. Let me tell you what you get in this book, because it sounds freaking awesome. In this book, you get murder cults. You also get ruthless executives. You get sword fights. You get giant mechs and forest fires. And two garbage men have to take care of all of this. You know what? They got an uphill battle, but I'm pretty sure they're going to make it. This one has one cover, because you know what? That's all you need. And the cover price is $3 dollars and 99 cents all right everyone so that's my top 10 picks for new comics coming out october 7 2020 let me know what you thought let me know what you bought let me know what i forgot because i want to know all right let's go ahead and take a break let's go say hello to that other guy in the thunderdome so the word keeps spreading about the thunderdome how monotonous how devastating how sexy it is to be a part of this elite group and you want to know more so let's go ahead and find out who won from last week coming in tied at second place is two brothers comics and robbie from pop culture philosophers they had 30 votes for the department of truth a great book but it wasn't enough for the win so the win is bob from everything comics he won with 37 votes for batman three jokers congratulations bob there you go but before we get any further into the Thunderdome, I just want to say one thing to our competitors. I'm getting sick and tired of you guys always picking the same damn book week after week. It's always a tie. Come on, guys. Pick something more original. Let's see what you have up your sleeve. Let's change it up. I will just tell you this. There are consequences for picking the same book. So maybe think outside the box and go from there. Don't go with the safe bet like, say, Batman 100 or The Walking Dead number 1 Deluxe Edition. 
pick something different, and see who wins. That being said, let's go ahead and see what this week's picks are from our competitors. First up, we have Two Brothers Comics going with Walking Dead number one, Deluxe Edition. Followed by Robbie from Pop Culture Philosophers. He's going with Batman number 100. And then we have Everything Comics. And guess what? Another tie. The same pick. Batman number 100 yet again. Let's see who wins. Da -dee -da, -dee da There you go. They picked the books I thought they were going to pick. No big surprise. But you know what? Don't forget to vote down below. And we'll see who wins for next week. Let's go ahead and take a look at the updated leaderboard. And see who's winning. Two Brothers Comics and Robbie from Pop Culture Philosophers tied for very last place, so they're not getting any points. But Bob from Everything Comics, he came in first, so he's getting five points added to his score. He's moved up to 24 points. He's only two points behind Robbie from Pop Culture Philosophers, and they're both getting close to that $50 grand prize. There you go, the two brothers are still way behind, but it is a pretty close race for Robbie and everything comics. We're getting closer to that $50 grand prize. All right, let's not waste any more time. I guess we gotta go back to the other guy and listen to him talk about his top 10 books yet again. What the hell is that guy's problem, man? I'm just doing what I do, and I do it pretty good. All right, everyone, don't forget to vote down below for your pick for the Thunderdome, and also do me a favor, don't forget to like and subscribe, because you know what to do. I'll see you next time. Bye.